And I'm curious about uh, his studio. Did he take these ideas or photographs of these locations and bring them back to the studio, or were many of the watercolors done on site? The watercolors were always done on site. Um, he didn't work on them. Well, he did some he did some watercolors of New York scene, but basically he didn't take photographs of what he saw. He was working on site, plain air, say. Though I say there are very there is, um, he painted what he saw, but in several instances, um, he waited till what he saw matched what he wanted to paint. Um, there was uh, some correspondence saying that, that he wrote to somebody, I think it was to his gallery, saying that he and Joe were staying on in Truro for a little longer in the fall because he wanted to get just the right sky to paint. And the sky hadn't happened when he was painting the structure, so he waited for the right sky. <laughs> Which is a fascinating way to think about it. Right. Um, one of the things I, I would um, recommend that you do as you look at the watercolors particularly, but also the oils, take a look at the skies and compare them with the way the shadows work within the paintings because they don't always match up.